Okay, here, removing the CD player. Or actually, I'm not going to remove it. I'm just going to make it move a bowl. You're going to pull the dials straight off. There's three pieces here. Pull them right off. And over here, I already took the top piece off. Now, what we're going to need... I'm not sure what size that is. And go ahead and take these off here. These hold the potentiometers in your volume and your tune. So we're just going to twist that and these twist off pretty easy. Okay, you don't want to lose your piece here. We'll stick that right in the ashtray. Now when these come off, these also hold the CD player in place. We can pull the front cover off here. We got these washers here we don't want to lose. So now we can stick our little wedge tool. And you see that pops right off. We're going to grab this washer. And then we're just going to stir on this side. Or continue this side. We're just going to walk right over here. Now we have our whole plate is loose. Now your CD player is going to be a little bit of mobile. Not very much. But now at least we can get at this. This plate is what was our problem. This actually sits down right over the top of here. So we're going to keep that off. That's what we're we're working at here. Let me get this off. So now we can get this section out right here. Okay. And sometimes we got, you know, we got a little bit of a pinch point over here. So let's slowly get that out. There. When you take this off, one, two, three, these are your dash lights. Okay. So while you're in here, you might as well take a peek while you have access at all these bulbs here. Make sure they're good. You can replace them. We've replaced one right here, it looks like. Okay. Now we're having problems with our dials here. The dials aren't working right. And with the CD player issues we had, I pulled the whole CD player deck apart so I could get at the potentiometers here inside of the CD player. Uh, this is a volume and a power knob. So this actually turns the radio on and it also controls the volume. This is um, a good spot to get dirty and corroded. So what I ended up doing is I took some WD-40 and I sprayed it inside of the potentiometer on the tuning and the volume power here. And I just went back and forth with it. And that's cleaned it up enough to get the radio working again it's actually working better than it was before from what I was told so now in here we're gonna have to get a little bit deeper so I'm gonna actually um, take the middle here apart as well and this comes down or I'm sorry this comes out easy as well We have a Phillips screw down here. Actually, we have two of them, but I need my little short screwdriver. 